Hey, what's going on everyone? We finally have the first trailer for Sony's Venom. So like we said yesterday, the trailer would be debuting today, and it would give us our first glimpse at what to expect from the upcoming Spider-Man spinoff focusing on the dark anti-hero known as Venom. Now for those of you unfamiliar, this film will center around Tom Hardy playing the Eddie Brock version of Venom, with other supporting cast members including Michelle Williams, Riz Ahmed, Jenny Slate, Reed Scott, Scott Hayes, Woody Harrelson, and others. Now before we get into the breakdown, I wanted to clarify that this is a teaser trailer, so for those of you having kind of mixed feelings about what the trailer actually shows off in terms of the footage and not really revealing the symbiote suit, I think that we should just kind of use that to temper our expectations for this, because this is just a teaser kind of letting people know that this film is coming out, and I definitely think that they do actually see it's some things in this that I'll get to in the breakdown, but let's get into it. So the beginning of the trailer, it looks like we're staring at a lake, but it turns out to be the inside of a research lab where it looks like Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock is getting an MRI because presumably he has cancer just like he did in the comic books. Later on, that would have him become anti-venom when he ditched the symbiote suit, but that's a storyline for another time. Presumably, this is when he's inside of the Life Foundation as the scientist on the right wearing the white lab coat is actually played by Reed Scott, who works for the Life Foundation. And in the next few shots, we have a voiceover of Eddie Brock talking about everyone's demons and what everyone carries with them and everything, and it actually kind of sets the mood pretty well. We see an establishing shot of San Francisco, as that will be the location and setting of the film, as it's based on the Lethal Protector story arc in which Venom and Spider-Man make a truce, but Venom moves back to his hometown of San Francisco and vows to not commit any more crimes, thus donning the mantle of the Lethal Protector. This shot right here gives us our first look at Michelle Williams as Anne Wang, the ex-wife of Eddie Brock who's now a successful lawyer working at California Bank and Trust. The next shot here is interesting. It looks like Eddie has returned to the Life Foundation, but possibly after his examination and after the symbiote has bonded with him. Maybe he's trying to figure out what they're doing with it and who else they're actually testing on with the symbiote itself. These next couple of shots do confirm that the symbiote will come from space, as it looks like a satellite or some sort of a spacecraft has crash landed in the middle of a giant field with police and government agencies tracking it down and taking a look at what's inside. And this shot right here is very interesting. It gives us our first glimpse at the symbiotes themselves in the film in the back of an armored car. And the person opening the back of that car is Riz Ahmed playing Dr. Carlton Drake who's the head of the board of directors for the Life Foundation. So he's essentially going to be the big bad, kind of the puppet master in the background, pulling all the strings, the man responsible for getting the symbiotes and exploiting them. And behind him, you can see an array of scientists, uh, one of which is actually Jenny Slate over on the right, right there. So she's going to be playing a key role in the film as well. Now the shots here towards the end of the trailer is when things start to get chaotic. It looks like the Reed Scott character jumps up after things have gone wrong with the scan and the symbiote actually bonding to Eddie Brock as the machine is sounding an alarm system and he gets up to check out what's going on. This shot right here we can see Eddie running through the Life Foundation as the security alarms have been raised so possibly he's getting chased by some of their mercenaries or guards. And then this shot right here is interesting. It looks like this is again once inside of the Live Foundation but possibly on a different floor as all the members get up and look back at something behind them which is probably the symbiote suit itself bonded to either Brock or possibly one of the villains as it has been rumored that the symbiote children will be in this film as well, who are consisted of Scream, Phage, Riot, Lasher, and Agony. The trailer ends with something very interesting, a glimpse at the symbiote itself bonding to Eddie Brock. So like I said, the scientist played by Reed Scott gets up and looks at what's going on, and we can see this deranged Eddie Brock who's getting forcibly attached to the symbiote suit, and if you actually play the footage in slow mode speed, you can see that his neck starts to get blacker as the symbiote suit creeps up and starts to consume him. 
So that's it for the very first teaser for Venom. Personally, I enjoyed it. I can see why people are kind of let down by it because it didn't really show off what Venom itself will look like or any of the villains or anything. But I think that this was the right teaser to kind of get the general audience on board with this movie that people may not know that it's actually coming and happening. They kind of focused the trailer on Tom Hardy and Michelle Williams being the selling points in a dark and gritty Marvel film. But drop your thoughts down in the comments below what you guys think of the first teaser for Sony's Venom and what are your thoughts on how the movie is shaping up now that you've seen a minute and a half of footage from it? And for more updates on Venom and everything in the Marvel Universe, be sure to subscribe to Hybrid Network. Thank you guys again for checking this video out. If you want to get even more updates from us, check out our social media platforms, our website for news and editorials, and if you want to see our content improve and help us out, donate to us on our Patreon and you can get exclusive rewards.